So it all changed that autumn evening in Paris. There was a quick rut just short of the South African try line. Andy Gomez on the nine, passed the ball out to, to Johnny Wilkinson who flicked it onto me. I got the ball down in the corner and, uh, and the rest is history. All I can say is that hand on heart, I know I scored. I thought I'd done it, you know, scored in the World Cup final, um, put ourselves in a, in a chance of, of winning it. But the TMO um, reviewed it. They suggested that my foot hit the line and disallowed the try. And with that, I missed out. So I remember it. I remember it like it was yesterday. Was my lower your arm tomorrow? Oh, sorry. It's just uh, the memories are so vivid. So it started off with just the little things. But then things I was missing out on just got bigger. Things got that that bad and I was missing out on that many that much stuff that I even started a Zen colouring book. I'm really careful that I don't touch the lines. So one positive from that night in October is that when I do travel to Wales, Scotland or Ireland, rugby fans are really positive with me. I've no idea why, to be honest, but it is really a silver lining. So if you had one piece of advice for fans, what would it be? I just tell them to, to really go for it. If there's something that they really want to do, just get it over the line. England, Ireland, Scotland and Wales, Rugby World Cup 2023. Travel and ticket packages are now on sale. Go to sportbreaks.com to book and not miss out.